Angela Sticka Snyder, founder and CEO of Taxinista. And let's talk really quick about when is a good time to become an S Corp. So regardless of how you are right now, whether you're a sole proprietor or whether you're an LLC or PLLC, the first thing you need to do is if you're not um, an LLC or PLLC, we need to get that taken care of right away. So in all of your planning, that's gonna be my first recommendation if you're, if you're looking to have a business that's going to grow in net income. So your net income, when your net income is at least 50,000, then we should start to have the discussion, all right? Your net income, you've got your gross income, which is all your sales, then you have your expenses, and then you have your net profit, okay? So when that net profit is around 50,000 or more, we definitely need to start having the discussion. So let me give you an example. An example would be somebody who has a net profit of around 80,000. And there's, I'm gonna give you two, have you compare. We're gonna have the Schedule C, and then we're gonna have the S Corp, okay? So as the Schedule C, all of that 80,000 gets self-employment tax on it at 15.3%. And that works out to be over $12,000 of self-employment tax alone. Now, in the other example, the S Corp, um, a requirement of being an S Corp is you do have to run payroll. So with an S Corp, you're going to have a payroll and you're going to have a K-1. Now on this payroll that we're going to run, we're going to run it at 40000 which is approximately half, let's say, of your net profit, not including your payroll. In that payroll, we will be paying Social Security and Medicare, both the employer and employee, which is similar and equal to the same percentage of self-employment tax. That will be about $6,000. The really sweet spot is when we do the K-1. So the K-1, it is going to have no self-employment tax on it. So it will only have income tax. Regardless, both incomes and all income has income tax. But in this instance, with the 80,000 net, you just saved over $6,000 in self-employment tax. If that sounds like something that you wanna discuss, give me a call or click on the link. And there's lots of other things to consider when determining whether you want to become an S Corp. Things like uh, retirement planning, uh, if you're looking for some financing for your children and in school. So lots of other things, it's not a black or white decision. Talk to you soon.